Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, we're moving from glory to glory. Hallelujah. And this month is month for family moving from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So this morning, I'm welcoming everyone to today's faith clinic, and we'll be reading some scriptures, and uh, with that, the Lord will breathe life into it, into our hearts, and then we will pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So this morning, I'll be talking to us on the glory of God in family setup. Praise the Lord. The glory of God in family set up. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we bless your name this morning because of your love, because of your mindset to have a family that is God word and that is heaven bound. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, from your creature you choose, you particularly choose a family to set up and to be an example so that others can follow. And through that, you brought the covenanted blood of Jesus Christ to continuously speak for every family that has you in them. We pray that today in this faith clinic, you will do more than we desire. You will do more than what we are asking. Father, Lord, you will surprise us beyond our expectations. Father, you will heal families. You will make our families to be glorious. You will move us from your glory to glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, the first scripture that came to me in preparation is um, where God was speaking to himself. You know when God, <laughs> I can't really say whether God was speaking to himself, but that's what the Bible tells us, that God was thinking or speaking to himself in Genesis chapter 18, verse 19, which is a very popular passage that we all know, Genesis 18, 19. I'll be reading lots of scriptures this morning, so please uh, come up with me quickly. So in 1819, we, we read that God, or from verse 17 to make it better, and the Lord said, shall I hide from Abraham that sin which I do, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation. And all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. But this is the 19th we're going to. So that's why I said he was talking to himself regarding Abraham. For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. I only read to the last bit, but it was part A that was registered in my mind, that God knows every single family. God knows your family. God knows my family. And in every family, no matter how challenging or having too much in it, maybe God is still looking for the light in that family to shine forth. And God looked at Abraham, and in Abraham, God decided to bring light into the, f into the entire world as an example to be the torch, that everyone that touches Abraham's lives becomes God's children even into our Lord Jesus Christ, into the New Testament. Praise the Lord. Can you say that to yourself? It's faith clinic. Let's talk to ourselves. Let's talk to God. For God knows my family. And that he knows that I, I am part of the light in that family. 
I will command, I will command my families, either in prayers, because most of us here, we, a uh, majority of us here are females. Men are coming in Jesus' name. And we will be the light that we, that we change situations and circumstances. Men, I bow before you. I'm not saying you are, you, you are our head. Praise the Lord. And in, in everything that we're all doing, it is to God's glory. Praise the Lord. And so, before any family set up, there must be a couple. Before a child is born, two, a man and a woman must meet. So though there must be a couple. And then, in that couple, um, children will come, and so on and so forth. And then in it, we we'll have marriages, we we'll have children's children, then we we'll become grannies, we we'll become grandmother, grandfathers, we we'll become some of us become aunties and uncles through some other people's having children. Praise the Lord. So that is God's mindset to have his family. And but God is not just saying when you look at Genesis, I'm not going there because that is going to be hammered on throughout the month that he blessed them he, he, he pronounced blessing of fruitfulness on them so there will be or there have been fruitfulness in the entire world and God is still not looking and God is still not finding a holy family that he can call his own can you see how desperate God is and that is why we must not disappoint God in making sure that our family are raised, are set up properly in line to bring glory to the God that created us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And another thing that we need to look into, when there is when a couple is starting up, there could be all sorts of things. Another scripture God brought my way was in John, um, sorry, was in Matthew chapter 1 from verses 18 to 25 that is a long passage but it's to do with joseph and mary you know mary was betrothed to him let's learn a lesson here and the lord wanted bringing light to the entire world for our salvation here there is um uh, there is mary now expecting an holy child without joseph knowing about it and we learned that God intervened. God intervened. It could have been a serious scandal. It could have been the talk of the time. It could have been the top page on any newspaper in our world now. But do you see how God intervened? And it's because Joseph and Mary themselves, they have God in their lives. They have the presence of God. They love God to the utmost. They make the love of God to be supreme in their lives. And that is why God knew that sending an angel is, is sufficient to settle the matter with Joseph. So every couple, our young couple, our, our couples to be, where there is issues, let God, let, let, us, let us make God number one. Let God be number one. Let God be the one resolving issues. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. If you are online and we're talking about family this month, the glory of God upon our families. And the Lord is going to be glorified concerning our families in the name of Jesus Christ. If there are issues in the area of people coming together, if in the areas of people who have come together but they are young in marriage, then let us make God number one. Let us make God uh, the supremacy over everything in, in all that we do. Sometimes our decisions may not please men, but as long as it pleases God, as long as God is in it, then we will see the results. And the people whom we're not pleasing now, they will know that we're pleasing God at the end of the day. Praise the Lord. Another family setup that we found, we're talking about the presence of God in every family. We're talking about godliness in every family. We're talking about families that knows God and 
God was with them was another set up of brethren, siblings, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. In the scripture, we're not told whether they have mother, whether they have fathers, whether they were married as sisters, whether Lazarus married as their brother. All we knew was that they knew they loved Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Those families set up, they loved Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ could, at every point in time, could lodge and could go to them for hospitality. Praise the Lord. And in them, you see, um, in their family settings, Jesus is so comfortable in their midst. And it's because these three or this family, these siblings, they trusted in the resurrection and the life. Because that's how Jesus came through for them. Praise the Lord. Because they don't know, at the end of the day, when Mary was conversing with Jesus, says, I am the resurrection and I am the life. And because that was what Mary knew about Christ. So that is the presence of the Almighty God. They, this family trusted in the resurrection and the life, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, another way that we will need to look into this family is uh, into another family setup. We didn't know much about because where you see godliness, where you see God's presence, where you see God's miracle, where you see God's abiding grace, where you see God's faithfulness, it means those people have something to do with God. Praise the Lord. And then another setup is in this our age, we have been talking about winning souls, winning souls. Andrews first find his own brother. Remember that memory verse in John chapter 1 and from verse 40, 41, 42. He first finds his own brother and he brought him to the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one that brought Peter. Peter became the pillar. Peter became the, the, the prominent among the apostles. Praise the Lord. But he found his brother first. What are the things that we are enjoying in Christ Jesus that we need to bring to our extended family? And we need to do that. That must be done. We must not play with it. If they're playing with us, our family members could be playing with us, especially us in diaspora because of pan styling. We should extend that money given to them to be what will bring them to the kingdom. We must use every means, by all means. Let's pray to God. God, what other strategy? What other ways? What other, uh, how, how else must I reach out to this person that needs to come to Christ? We must do that. And as I was looking at John, um, Andrew and, and, and Peter, I remember my sister that just gone past. If anyone gave me tough time, bringing her to the Lord, my sister gave me tough time. There is nothing she did not do to me. But the Lord was making me to know that she needs to come to Christ. To the last breath. And I mean to the last breath. To the last breath. So please, let us endeavor. Even at first, one minute I'm saying, oh, she, we, we were praying. We were praying and um, she, we were praying till she passed. Another second I'm saying, God... Would and I and I begin to tell God to say this year, look at what you have made me to do. This year, look at what you made me to do. Is that all a waste? Did she make it? Is she in your presence, Lord? And that troubled me for weeks. Then one day I was coming from work, and I was in the tr- and I was on the train, still grieving about her passing, you know. And I closed my eyes in the train, just just like that, you know. And then I saw, I saw like a lady, so, uh, some, some of us were on one side and some, some people were coming and we were like spectators. You know, they were coming, they dressed up so gorgeously, these people. They dressed up like bridegrooms, bridegrooms, uh, mother, bridesmaids, uh, brides, mom, you know, they dressed so gorgeously, sparkling. And, and I, wa- we, I, I, I was saying this and I was saying, who is this person? And they were walking, you know, boldly. They were passing, they were passing, they were passing. And suddenly one passed. Dressed, so I, I saw all the dressing. I said, my sister, my sister, my sister. You know, in the train. I was, I was on from the train to London Bridge to East Croydon. 
And I, and just just like that, and another was passing, and they were just a vroom, vroom, you know, like twinkling of vroom, vroom. And I said, God, God, what is this? So please, I purposely emphasize on that. Let's do all that it takes because we can be easily discouraged. That is on that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Regarding, regarding uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth, these people, they were couples. And at the end of the day, they were united. There was unity. Can you see the unity with Joseph and Mary? This is an old couple. They were united even when he became dumb. You know, the family were saying, okay, what should we call the, and the wife said, and they, they both agreed, praise the Lord. So even in old age, even in golden years, we can see God at work in our lives. Again, um, I want us to uh, please do something right now. Well, let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray where at the onset of a family setup, let's take cue from David, uh, sorry, from Joseph and Mary. Let the Lord resolve the issues for us. Give your situations to God. Let God lead and direct you. Let God say this is the way you must go. Even if you do not know how to ask, just say, God, which way must I go in this in this um, entangling uh, issues, uh, difficulties? Jesus Christ is the way, is the truth, and he is the life. He will give us, he will show us the way, he will tell us the truth. We will have life in the name of Jesus Christ. He will show us the way, he will tell us the truth, and we will have life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This time we're praying for our young couples. Let's pray that the Lord will give them, show them the way, give them the truth, and then let there be life in their home in their family setup in the name of jesus christ all our young couples we are asking god that where there are issues needing resolving even day when there is no issue but decisions needs to be made we pray for the way which is our lord jesus christ to come in to show the way and that in in, in showing the way we speak the truth to both parties and then life is life will come through in the mighty name of jesus christ Christ. We're praying for our young couples that anything that wants to make their marriages not to become the icon for the world to be seen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we bring the covenanted blood of Jesus against such powers to be speaking for them, to be speaking for the lives in this family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for our young couples that that they will enjoy themselves. Their marriages will be sweet. Their homes will be sweet. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying for our young couples this morning that your that your relationship will be the one that will be talk, will be the talk of the town so that people will be saying how are you doing it how are you making it then the glory of our lord jesus christ will be proclaimed to the world that jesus christ is in the center of this home is in the center of this family in the mighty name of our lord and savior jesus christ we want to pray even if it may not be that there is a father or a mother or a couple, but we found such like that of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. We're just families. We don't have fathers. We don't have mothers. But they love Jesus. Lord Jesus, we ask this morning that you visit as you were visiting. Such ones that have declared you as the light in their families. And I'm praying, oh God, that in your mercy, oh God, that you will reach out, you will reach out, you will reach out as the resurrection and as the life. Because these were the scriptures you said I should pray on. And I'm bringing it, oh Lord, back to you. That Lord, you will be the resurrection. You will be the life in these families. That Lord, your glory will be seen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, for the rest of us, we're praying 
that, Lord, as we have declared to you, that as you know Abraham, and you've called us, we are children of God through Abraham, and we're praying that in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that, Lord, you will help us to do everything that it takes, everything that it needs, everything that we must do, Lord, so that our homes and our family set up will be real and will bring glory to your name. Thank you, Father, this morning. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed with thanksgiving.